Yeah, yeah, come on. Why are you recording? Because then I will get bloopers! <laughs> bloopers are the best part! That's stupid, we're not No, stop it! it. <laughs> okay, no. Welcome to the Olin Brit and JC Squires! Cho! Yay! Yay! You were a little late on that over. Sorry. We didn't rehearse much. No. Alright. This is our first episode of our web show. We are very excited. We are recording from my livery stable. Yep. Yes. Yep. And we're here to talk about something today, aren't we, Olin? We are. We are here to talk to you about the music the man. The music man. It's a very exciting show. Yes. Yes. So. We're going to give you a little <laughs> synopsis of it and tell you what it's about. Yes, we are. Olin, would you like to kick it off? I suppose so, Jason. All right, then. Well, you see, the music man takes place in this little town called River City in Iowa. Home sweet home. Home sweet oh, home. Oh, I love River City. I miss River City. Yes, yes. Well, keep it, going. It doesn't compare to Myrtle Beach. We're not in Wait, Myrtle that's Beach. It. Anyway, in this show, it starts off on a train. And Harold Hill comes to our town of River City. Harold Hill is... A swindler! A swindler. That was what I was getting to. Takes Jesse. our money. Keep going, I'm sorry. I get a little upset when we talk about him. It's all right, Jesse. We all were upset. Anyway, he comes into our town and he... Uh... I'm sorry, Jesse. What did he do? I don't remember. Well, he gets us all riled up, see? That's right. He starts talking about all the trouble in our yeah. town. And we all get ter uh, terrified. Yes. Terrifying. He said some horrible things about the children The children were town. saying swell and... And, and, and so's your old man. So's your old man. Your, your daughter told me that once. That good God, Olin, are you trying to give me a heart attack? I'm sorry, just I had oh, to... I had to smack her. I know you would do the Jesus. same. Jesus. I'm taking the Lord's name in vain. Now look what you've done to me. I'm sorry. I blamed it on you, it though. Well, good. Yeah. Good. He, he never learned his melody. You had always screwed things up for he us. He did. Anyway. He's just, just a terrible man. Anyway. So, so we, yes, keep going. No, no, you... you so we you all get scared and, and terrified of all this trouble. And Harold Hill makes us believe the only way out of this trouble is to what, Olin? It was to get... A boys band. A boys band. We which, never which actually sounded like a pretty delightful idea. It did sound great. When he had that red shiny coat, I I didn't know what to it do. It was beautiful. It was I beautiful. wanted one. That gold trim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me. Uh. So anyway. Yes, anyway. Uh, so he tells us we need a boys band. So we went along with it. But little did we know that he wasn't really going to get us a boys band. He was going to take our money. We're getting ahead of ourselves. No, I'm sorry. So we pay for the instruments. Yep. And, and we wait. And music books, Jason. And music books. Yep. And uniforms. That's true. And we wait. We wait. And we wait. And we wait. Yep. And we wait. Uh, all right, JC. There are no instruments there or uniforms not. or books. No, JC. There weren't. But then when we started getting suspicious, this, this other fella, his name was... Uh, uh, Charlie Cow. Charlie Cow. That's right. Jesse. Delightful man. I didn't really like. Well, him. I I adore him. Okay. He's a very good looking man. He was. Yes. Anyway, he comes into town and he told us that Harold Hill was lying to us. Yes. He was lying to us. Lying is a sin. Jesse. It is. It is. And so when Charlie Cow told us that Harold Hill was cheating us, what did we do, J.C.? I'll tell you what we did. We chased after him all we, through the town. We did chase him, and you were got real mad. You would yelled his head off. Yes, he did. You would. I'd never seen you with that angry. I hadn't either. He started turning green. Yes. It was scary. Yes. So we went off after after him, and it took us a while to catch him. It did take us a while. Yes, he but is, he is very elusive. But we caught him. We did we put catch those him. cuffs on him. Mm -hmm. Took him down to the gymnasium. And we were gonna tar and feather oh, him. Oh, with a town hall. But. We were going to tar and feather We were going to tar and feather him. And then, instead... Mary in the library... That's right, I couldn't remember her Stepped name. up to the podium and took... Took Harold's side. Stood up for him. That and do you bitch. remember the 
you remember the first woman to stand up to help Harold Hill among the townspeople? It was Miss it was Ma Marion's mama. Yes, and then it was that darling Zanita. Do you remember Zanita? I thought it was uh, Marcellus. It was. <laughs> And then it was Marcellus. And then, and then it was Zanita. And then it was that darling Zanita. Yeah. Yes. Then everyone, and then we stood up. We did. We did. Up. Because you know what he did? He taught us how to sing, Olin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah! Yes. It brings back memories, <laughs> Jason. Then the sound that came out oh, of those it instruments. Was horrible. It was horrible. But you know, through it all, Olin, the town came closer together. Yes, we did. And it was a beautiful, beautiful time. It was. Yes. I think I need a tissue. I do too, Grandma. So that's the story of the music man, mainly from our perspective. Yeah. We can't know what's going on in this town all the time. Probably not. So now it's time for... Fun Facts! Fun Facts! Hey. When did the Music Man open? That would be in 1957. I had to check my notes. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, it's fine. Put these web shows up in five minutes. You can't expect to be off book. That's true. So and anyway... the we'll... Music Man goes up in 1957. Yes, it does. When's Five Tony Awards after 1,375 performances, including the Tony for Best Musical. That's yep, the big one. That is the That's big the one. big one. And another thing you should know, yes, is that the cast album won the first Grammy Award for Best Original Cast Album. My, that's us on that recording. That right? was us on no. No, it wasn't. Was no, it wasn't. Who was it on that recording? Well, JC, it's funny you should ask because I wrote that down. Well, in the in the good original to see your pretty face. in the original production, the school board, which is two of us, two, was played by the 1950 International Quartet Champions of the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. The Buffalo Bills. I'd say they were far more qualified than we were, Olin. Well, JC, we had only been singing together for about a month. Well, yes. That doesn't make us very qualified. No. We had no business up there. We had no business. But we were there. Yes, we were. Yes. What else do we have? I don't know. The show's success led to revivals and a, a popular 1967 film adaptation. Yes, it did. And did you know? No, Jason. The song, <laughs> You Got Trouble, started as a long scene full of dialogue. That was the name of the scene, You Got Trouble. Wow. But then Meredith saw that and said, you know what, that sounds like a lyric. And he composed the song, You Got Trouble. That's where the song came from. That's very impressive. And speaking of songs, did you know that Mary and the Librarian was not actually written by Meredith Wilson? But wait a minute. I thought Meredith Wilson wrote the book, Lyrics and Music, no, for the show. No, see, that is a common misunderstanding. Well, who wrote the music? <laughs> for Mary and the Librarian, Frank Lesser wrote that song. Oh, the composer of Guys and Dolls. Which will probably be our next episode. You know, I thought that, that would be a good one. That would be. I good. thought the music in Mary and the Librarian seemed a little different from the rest of the it show. It was very suspicious. Yes, yeah. We mentioned the film earlier. Yes, we did. Robert Preston claimed that he got the role of Harold Hill despite his limited singing range because when he went to the audition, they were having all the auditionees sing You Got Trouble. Which they thought would be the most difficult song, but with Robert Preston's acting background, it was the easiest one for him. And it was very impressive. It was great. It was. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Good to see River City getting that kind of publicity on a movie. Though. I agree. Nobody knows about Brought it. Brought in a lot of tourism. I, you know, 
I put my horses up there with the rest of them. Well, that does it for this episode of the Olin Bridge and J.C. Squires show. Yay. Yay! I got it right that time. Yeah, you did. We were, we were right in there. Tune in next week for our episode of Guys and Dolls. Yay! Yay! Good night. Good night. Oh, are we going? <laughs> it was at the town meeting, and we were going to tar and feather him. Yep. And hang him and shoot him. That road, JC. I'm sorry. You're starting to turn green I'm too. Upset again. Yes. And another thing to know is that the cast album won the first Grammy for the first best original cast. I'm gonna try that again, JC. I'm not doing <laughs> oh my very God. well. <laughs> I just read it. Uh, Frank, I can't remember his last name. Frank Lesser. That's it. Try that again. <laughs> I run a, a damn fine livery stable. And you're down one horse. I am. I want to tell him why, Olin. Well, JC, when I was trying to feed your horse for you, it started to bite me. Mm-hmm. So I bit it back. Yeah. And maybe ate it. Yes, you did. How did it taste, Stolen? Like a horse. Yes. Can't have been good. I thought he was kind of tasty. Keep things... No! Back.